Hello guys and welcome back to another imaginary scramble gameplay. This will be the final video as you can see not much time left but I have completed unraveling most of the section. Uh, these are the ones that are kind of left and I think these are part of the story. So before we are able to do these. Oh wait what the. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> before we are able to do these, uh, as you can see, it's written unlock by progressing in the story. So I guess we have to do this one, the idle talk, and then these will be unlocked. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's begin. <clears throat> A mediator. That does sound does not sound like the divinities from the outer universe. I have heard of those. My impression was that there was an insurmountable gap between them and us, one that does not allow any possibility for peaceful discussion. Maybe he didn't mean a literal mediator. It could be something like an intermediary catalyst that lets them make use of the gods' very different magical energy, like how an emulsifier lets us mix oil and water. Oh, you may call it whatever you like. To truly understand would be an act of utter insanity and one that would require a span of one kalpa of dedication upon that. Alright. Take the planet Mars for example. Though it is unfathomably closer to us than the outer universe, the Elder One paid it almost no heed whatsoever. And yet there is actually one outer universe being associated with Mars about whom I cannot help but be a little bit concerned. I read the comment, you know, like kind of explaining about uh, the different, um, the different gods, the outer gods. And uh, I remember uh, there have been written that uh, Van Gogh's uh, for, uh, like an outer god, I forgot the name of the outer god, but uh, is related to Mars. So is he talking about that? All right, let's see. Don't stop now, man. Keep going. Well, Lady Hoxai's divinity and the divinity in direct opposition to it are actually thought to be siblings. Ah, there you go. Lady Hoxai's divinity and divinity in direct opposition. Siblings, okay. What's more, these siblings who, said to, who are said to get along about as well as cats and dogs actually have a third sibling deity. And it is the third youngest sibling who is thought to have some manner of connection to Mars. To be perfectly honest, I know next to nothing about this youngest sibling. I do not even know anything about their possible disposition. However, assuming these siblings call a certain dim green binary star home, and in, if my inner star's guiding light is any indication, I believe that this mysterious third sibling may be planning to mediate the disputes between the dispartate factions of the outer universe. Hmm, okay, okay. Hmm. So if these outer universe gods stopped fighting each other and teamed up to fight us, we'd be royally screwed. <laughs> hmm. But nah, thinking about it some more, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything to worry about. Oh really? Oh, why is that? Because like you said, not even foreigners can escape the constraints that come with being servants. Oh yeah, that's true. So once they encounter Fujimaru, they won't be able to get able to help but fall for his time. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, he's faced everything from irredeemable villains and crazed berserkers to demons and evil gods and has formed contact with every one of them. I get it too, being an extraordinary hero makes you appreciate even more how incredible it is for a completely ordinary person like him to fight against impossible odds. In fact, his doing so might even be the best example of the heights humanity as a whole can strive for. So I'm pretty sure that once this mediator gets to know Fujimaru, they'll fall for his chance, form a contract of their own. And then turn around and convince the rest of the foreigner army to follow their lead. Oh wow. Which means the invasion attempt is basically already a failure. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Caster Gilder Race? Um, I feel like you have a little bit too faith. Oh, you certainly got me there. What a horrifically hopeful conclusion. Why, it made the very hairs of my heart stand on and oh my god. Hairs on my heart. Okay. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone say something like that ever before. Indeed, you are correct. No matter what manner of this alliance this wicked god sibling mediator attempts to form, 
or even if one of the evil gods formed the constellation, Piscus Astrinus should take advantage of the mediator's blind spot and attempt to cause Armageddon. Our master will no doubt found a way, find a way to bring them all back peacefully, and his exploits in doing so will be spoken on forevermore. <clears throat> ah, this has truly been a delightful discussion. It has been as bright and bubbly as my beloved gold mead. <laughs> mm, I'm feeling inspired now. I think I shall return to my workshop and begin work on a new creation. <clears throat> Specifically, I think it is time I made my new jumps and foreigners to go with Gil's Doss Rays before the new children of- oh, Alright, yeah. So, did we just go through all of that only to loop back around to- We do not actually have to do anything, I guess. Probably, but hey, at least we ought to have put the dreamer's mind at ease about foreigners. <laughs> and if that's the part we were meant to play in all of this, then we all did our job. And really, let's not forget all the exposition we heard here. It's just Marshall Gills being delusional as <laughs> hell. Oh my god. Oh, someone's here. Oh! Voyager, okay. Bonjour. Nice night, huh? Oh, speak of the foreigner. What is it, Voyager? It sounded like you were talking about something fun. Was it outer space? Yeah, that is right. We were discussing the bottom of a universe that is also an unfathom unfathomable abyss. While we should treat M Marshall Gill's exposition as a delusion that it is, it is merely a mere matter of camera angles. <laughs> the fact is, we learned a lot from what he had to say. After all, while, while what he said is certainly fantastical, it is by no means impossible. There were very, there very well could be another universe of the kind he exposed. Was it? Uh huh. The universe is big. I'm sure we don't know everything about it. You know, I felt like someone was calling me too. Someone from a distant star, far, far away. There you are. What do you think you're doing here, Voyager? Do you have any idea how worried I was after you just suddenly floated away like that? Do you want to go near Point Nemo too, Eris? To the Rainbow Sea and the God's Banquet? The, the God's Banquet? I don't know what kind of signals you've been picking up, but knock it off. Come on now. We need to go and back and finish our Tokoroten cooking battle. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Voyager was bothering you, Shion. Good night. But but I want to go to the Great Foreigner Festival too. <laughs> ah, wait, here it is. Oh, hell no. We both know you're tired anyway. Besides, you're just an honorary foreigner, right? In any case, there's something in a pro. I, I mean, I have a really bad feeling about this. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's a bad sign that the foreigner, like Voyager, who is inarguably from also from our world, is also being influenced by whatever is going on here. Oh well, since there is nothing I can do, I think I will just hope that Captain is enjoying himself and go have some dreams of my own. Yeah, Captain is definitely enjoying himself, having a mental breakdown and everything, you know, over there. <laughs> His Nemo's make like you know, doing like a whole mutiny and all. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so I guess I'll have to complete these. Where is this? Uh, yep. Alright, let's let's start from one. Number one. What is number one? Oh. Okay. This one? Number two. What is number one? This one? Yes. P of the foreigner D, foreign D, number one. All right. All right, I have no idea what the hell this is. Um, I'm guessing the foreigner will be the main bad boss, you know, like the big boss. So uh, most definitely, I'm going to use uh, an alter ego. So yeah, let's let's go with melt, just like I did. There you go. Oh wait. Oh. There you go, this card will do. Okay, so I'm going to change Ishtar to where is Melt? Melt, where is Melt? Okay. There she is. And change this to this, change this to this. And I am also going to put another one. Like, I have been extremely lucky in the CE department. I got so many new CEs. Like, god damn, it's crazy. Alright, so these two, uh, foreigner is here. Let me change Musashi to... Should I put in another alter ego or something? I don't know. 
or you know what let us put uh, who should I put yeah let's put another alter ego why not where, where is uh, where are my alter egos uh, I think a little bit above oh god Let, let's change this level it's bothering me all right uh, where's passion live I'm, I'm trying to find passion live there she is should I go with this yeah all right okay let's change this to like these will be big battles I'm guessing so Yeah, let, let, let's go with this. Yeah, why not? I'm not sure what type of enemy I'm facing, so I'm just going in blind completely. Oh my god, it would have been nicer if I could have used these. But let's just go without backup for now. I don't have enough farm mat uh, materials to go. Okay. I can't believe it, I didn't go crazy myself. <laughs> it was like something straight out of child's drawing, wasn't it? She's very good for her age though. I'm looking forward to see what she's like as an artist when she grows up. Unfortunately, madness born from innocence might be the hardest kind to deal with. You may want to steal yourself, master. Van Gogh, remember how Fran bought a camera along with that Fujimaru could give the servants orders while we were out in the field? I'd like you to carry the camera this time. <laughs> this is so much responsibility. I hope I can count on your support out there, everyone. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Master. Um, I'm sorry, have we met? This is Van Gogh. Ah, I see. You can't survive in the Void Sea, so you brought in a new foreigner to help. Hmm, so she's another painter like Hokusai. Hmm. Hmm. You know, when Hokusai came to invade here earlier, she took one look around and said it had character and left. She's a really talented painter, so she must have thought my drawings were terrible. You think so too, don't you? You're probably laughing at him in the inside right now, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks for making this even harder for Stutasan. Not at all, this is where ev everyone's pictures look like when they first start drawing, even mine. If anything, I'd bet you were already drawing so much now that you're bound to be a much better painter than me when you grow up. Do you mean it? I do. I really do. <laughs> I knew it. You're oh god. That, no, that's that's the way she talks. You're laughing at me. <laughs> I, I wasn't. I just get nervous around new people. Forget it. Just forget it. I'm tired of drawing and I don't even care about her for anymore. Now tell me master, do you want to make up for leaving me behind? Of course you do, you're a really nice kind master. Then you can make it up by to me by taking me on a picnic. Just the two of us will go somewhere far away where we don't have to worry about other fashions or painters or anybody else at all. Why don't you save that for me? <laughs> so I need to be older. Fine then, I'll just get an advance on a more appropriate form. Oh my god, what? Um, what? <laughs> what do you think of this outfit? I pulled it off some traveling between space-time continuance. Oh great. It does make my chest feel kind of itchy, but I'm sure that's just my imagination. Self-hatred? Dark past? None of that matters now. Come on, master of mine, let's get to the abyss together. There's a whole entire hell of forbidden dreams just waiting for us. Oh yeah, this is bad. Lady Abigail Williams. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to disarm you now. <laughs> Alright. So the first one is Abby, okay. And the uh, other classes we were seeing, I'm guessing they're like, they're probably like... Oh lord. Ah, this is, this is another thing that is really annoying. That, oh god, like you suddenly get these. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Oh god. All right, you know what? Let's let's get them out of here little by little. Oh 
Oh god. My health will be almost gone by the time I reach Abigail. Like what is this? Alright, let's Let's meet him. <laughs> okay, from next time onwards, I think I need a different strategy. Like, like random mob characters are coming at me. What I'll do from the next time is take another character who will be like an AOE character. Oh god. Ugh. This is annoying. Come on, another quick. Yeah, obviously not. Oh, and the, the thing is that they're berserker, which makes it even more... Oh. Okay. Alright, Abby's there. And these two. I don't know. Okay, what? HP just inflicts sleep and remove. Oh, so I'm, I'm not going to attack them at all. Alright. Stuff, no? Terror, alright. No problem. No problem. Okay. Alright, uh. She still hasn't attacked me. Alright. Great terror is uh boy. Ignore invincible. Alright, uh Oh no. Oh great. Now everyone's gonna die. Oh, I, I have. Oh no, she has Ignore Invincible on. But no problem, I have my fan dog with me, so... And passion lift, passion lift can... Wait a minute, uh... Two? 
できる<笑>外しませんYou know what? Let's keep Vanguard's MP for now. It's been a while I've used uh, Basham Lip. This is not difficult, but this was actually an annoying battle. Like, first of all, those berserkers coming at the beginning. Goggy, really is your noble phantasm. O oh, priest of water, O oh, noble of wind, oh, you honor us with your presence. Through the great flowering form of Mark, you are transformed into a droplet of madness. Now let the stars guide you to eternal slumber. Wow. Okay. Please turn out. Mm. Yeah, okay. That's the first one down? Huh? What in the world was I doing? I can't remember the life of me. Oh, hello, master. There you go. <laughs> Teary eyed. I'm so sorry, master. You must hate me now. <laughs> Why is that? Because I'm such a bad girl, I wanted to be good, I really did, but I just can't get rid of my own selfishness. I've gotten used to life at Caldia, but it's still almost all grown up there. So I get lonely and inevitably I'll end up leaning on you. Part of me is happy to see you scramble to help for me. So when Young Grief encouraged me to act on those feelings, they come bubbling up stronger than ever and I even enjoyed being bad. I really am a witch, I have no right to stay by your side. Master, why? <laughs> what do you think, Amash? Well, bluntly speaking, I think many of the evil aligned servants tend to be very well aware that when they're engaging in evil acts, as a result they tend to regret the crimes they committed in life and strive to be better people, as heroic spirits. Also, I think the kind of evil you're talking about is something everyone has inside them, Abby. So the fact that you're aware of it, trying to control it, is a wonderful thing in my book. Especially when you consider that many of the good aligned servants are completely unaware that they sometimes behave in monoton monstrous ways. Like a certain angel of premium. <laughs> do, do you mean it, master? Can I really stay at Haldia? Absolutely. In fact, why about we race for a picnic sometimes? Oh my, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, master, and thank you, all of you. Um, Abby. This is what I, I'm like on the inside. So, <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd love if you could be foreigner friends. Oh my! I love that. I've always wanted a friend who's closer to my age. I think we'll get along great. Thank you, Van Gogh. Um, can I call you Gogh too? So there you go. That's the first character. Hmm. And that takes care of that one. All right. The next one is this one, I think. Yeah. What? How the hell will I? Why is there a question mark? Obviously it will be a foreigner, wouldn't it? Yeah? No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not quite sure. Let, let's just take the team that I took, just for now. Later on I'll change it, if I need to. If this fails, then I'll do that. So I, I guess there will be no mob characters here because... Oh, what the hell is this place? 
<laughs> hey master, can you believe it? This, my little corner of the sea is amazing. I have a void affiliates, void paywalls, void video and void pyramids. Okay. And best of all, I can make as many void customers as I want. So theoretically, I can also make all the void money I want. I'm even working on establishing a void fund to invest in the void agriculture and void cruise ships. I'm a full-fledged void tycoon now. Oh, XX. I know everything I'm doing here isn't empty as meaningless as the void I'm doing. <laughs> but really, what is labor anyway? What is money? Really? When you get down to it, it's all meaningless. Kalia treated me well enough, but maybe that life was just as empty as two. Two. Back when I was a heroine in the servant verse, I used to think everything shone, shone so bright. Was it all just in my head? If I'm empty and my life's going to be empty, then I'll just embrace the emptiness so it swells up to a vortex that swallows up everything. Okay, here I come. I'm going to break out my invisible air, a skill I mastered long ago. Oh boy. Uh, she looks stronger than I thought, but I'll do my best to fight her, master. Mm, don't think I'm jealous of that position, cause I'm not at all. I might be old and past my prime, but I'm still a heroine, damn it. I'm not about to lose to some newbie who just showed up out of nowhere. Death to all foreigners but me. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so we have to find a foreigner. I guess. Not sure. Why did they put a question mark like that? Sorry about that. Oh my god, not this again. Why? What, what is this? Well, I think I need to change my team now. Like, great. Just what I wanted, you know. You know what? This is getting... L let's take Musashi, yeah. Like, I don't see any other way. Like, this is really just... Alright, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch. Alright, let's let's change my Mystic Coat as well. Alright, uh, where where is... Astoria... Castoria, where's Castoria? Change this to uh, where is the fragment? Where's my fragment? Um, fragment. There you go. There's the fragment. And uh, and 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 and. Okay. Uh, Sashi. All right. And. Uh, I don't know who I should take here. Should I keep passion lip for now? Let, let's remove the CE. It's taking out. I don't know who should I take here. Yeah, let's keep passion lip here for now. Just, just, yeah. And Van Gogh will be there. And, uh, alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to... There it is. Yes. Because I might need to switch. You know what? I have these a lot. So let's just use it. Okay. Let's skip this. Alright. I'm going to show you mock characters. <laughs> like, yeah. Like what the hell? The main character is just at the end. Like obviously that's how it's supposed to be. But I, I'm, I'm expecting a boss battle. Not this. All right, let's go. All right, let's... Let's go. I'm also boosting up Castoria's MP as well, just in case. The Knights of the Round Table, gone. Just like that. <laughs> Musashi's MP, full. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's do this again then. And 
and there you go. Gone. Full MP. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh boy. Musashi is crazy. New dog or what? Oh my god. Target focus. You think that'll work? You think that'll work in front of Musashi? Yeah. It won't, unfortunately. Oh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> hmm, alright, wait. Uh, what should I do? Okay, uh, just... But I guess, uh, she'll deal lesser damage for me. It's okay. There you go. Yep, Musashi is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to switch. Oh my god. Okay, so, um. Okay, so let's do this. This. Evade it. Oh my god, yo! This thing is great! Yeah, I, I need to, I need to... I need to stun with her, otherwise... Okay, so... Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Alright. So, you know what? Let's put this as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. <laughs> This this girl is critting crazy. Oh boy. And he's put she's put on invincible now. Alright, here we go. Stunt, nice! Just what I wanted. Okay, let's take care of this thing now. Come on, Vanguard. Perfect. What did she do? Oh my god. Wait, do invincible and this one stack? I'm not quite sure. You know what? Let me use it. Yeah, it does stack. Alright. I don't know who she's going to target. Let's use all of this. Just in case. Oh wait, I have my um, this one on. So yeah, they're not going to die. Okay, okay, never mind. But her crits are crazy, so... Alright, let's, let's see. <laughs> Alright, she's going to use her noble fantasy, but it won't work. 
き銀すなわちコスモスエーテル宇宙しかるに秩序行くぞスイーンイヤローバイスムシーザースターダブルダイナミック I have my invincible on as well Thank God I had that My Okay okay so Let's again Invincible All right. Uh, let's just put this on her. I feel like this is the best strategy to use. Like, use Musashi for the mob characters, and then this. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, this this battles are a little bit difficult. I can see that. This one is a bit difficult. Easter night. One thing I don't understand, why did they include these difficult battles in part of the story? Because I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of masters who... Oh, I guess... Uh, who are new. Who, they won't be able to... But the main story is over, so yeah, I guess it's only for the Holy Grail. Ah, what have I been? What have I been doing? I must have been out of my mind. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me, everyone. This is what happens with it to be a responsible grown-up. I understand, Lady Excess. I had a hard time making a living too. Huh? I only ever sold one painting in my entire life. I had day jobs too, but I only managed to pay for paints and models thanks to my parents and my brother. He was supporting me. And even then, I could only do that by my skimping on food. Most days, I was lucky if I could afford bread or potatoes. Sometimes, I had to get by on nothing but coffee. Ah, hang on, master. Is that servant there actually the Vincent van Gogh? Now, what am I supposed to do? There's no way I can win a misery contest with a starving modern European artist. <laughs> Oh boy, it's not a competition, yeah. That's right, we both know the struggles of surviving in a cold and uncaring society. But would it maybe help a little to have a friend who understands? Um, maybe I shouldn't be telling you guys this, but I actually lost all my Eldritch power some time ago. Oh my god, wow. But I'm still so scared for working at that one super toxic company that I can't be sure I won't succumb to the despair again someday. Alright. But you encouragement is... <laughs> Inspiring me to live my best life, Van Gogh. And one of these days, I'm going to return the favor by helping free of your despair too. Uh, um, essentially, I'm just a girl from Greece, so that despair is mostly just bored memories. So nobody got hurt, and nobody needs rescuing. What in the world is going on here? Um, Senpai, since the situation looks like being resolved now, maybe you should hurry on to the next one. I agree with much, though I can't help but wonder. It's not Eldritch power, then what did... What did get into you, XX? I'm not sure. We really, we don't really have anything like the outer universe back in the servant first. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Oh no, what? It was the great evil god you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you know, as <laughs> Captain. Oh no, wow. Okay. <laughs> mm, okay. And that takes care of that. Now, wait a minute. How much QP do I have? Oh, not enough. Alright, so next one is, is it this one? Uh, no, this one's the final one. This one. E of the Fondy, okay. Alright, just like always, you can see a plethora of servants. But not to worry, I have my Musashi with me. So, there you go. Mm, yeah, this will do. And let's use this again, you know. Yeah, basically this is how you do it. First use Musashi, then... Use Van Gogh. Oh, it's outside, I'm guessing, yeah. About time you lot showed up. Enjoying a little excursion through the void, see, master? You're the one to talk, Toto-sama. 
<laughs> hey, I ain't kidding around. Those mountains, rivers, and gorges were nothing compared to what's up ahead. Excuse me, Hokusai, but before we get started, I have to ask you something. Your father-daughter bond skill should have been restored when you lost to us in the fourth area. So why did you answer Young Beef's calls? Are you still linked to the outer universe even now? Nah, my soul's pretty much left my body back when that alter ego gal knocked me senseless. I don't know nothing about no Eldrick or... <laughs> that, wait, what? Daidarabochi or whatever it's called. All I did here was force a switch over to my spirit origin. See, what happened here was, Oe and me had a little talk. I told her, after all that painting you got to do, it's only fair that I get a turn too. Oh, you can't expect your old man to sit out while you have all the fun, right? And being the good girl she is, she agreed to let me borrow her spirit origin for a while. I don't know what I did to deserve her, but damn if she don't know what makes a part painter tick. A lot, a lot of painters would be reluctant to let her old man have the artist's paradise to all himself, but not her. Anyway, there you have it, Master. I got a lot of painting to do, and I'd like you to be here for it. The father-daughter bond actually backfired here. Wow. It looks like Katsushika Hokusai isn't beholden to any Eldritch power. He just wants to test his skills against ours. This might be the perfect chance to show off your new painting skills, Van Gogh. <laughs> I thought so too. I can feel Van Gogh's memories and talents surging in my mind. They're practically itching to compete in this kind of contest. Okay, Hokusai, let's do this. Hell yeah, yeah, you're always welcome in my studio, both as a rival and a model. Alright, let's do this. Oh! Okay. Motor Oiwasan. Okay, oh boy, this will be a little bit difficult, you know, because my NP won't be charged up. There's one character missing. Wait a minute. Uh, should I actually? Okay. No, let's keep this. Let's try to defeat them normally. Okay, no health was lost. Okay, no problem. Let's charge up the NT as much as I can. And then... okay. Now I'm going to use those two okay all right so oh wait what oh well never mind then hmm yeah look hmm. Well, so that went a little bit differently than I thought, alright. I, I do have my um, NP charging ability still. Alright, so let's use Musashi's NP now. Oh god, wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Target gets... Wait, so... Only three of them, so if okay, you know what? No, wait. Okay, 
Okay, so now Musashi will be stricken with that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna do this again. And then I'm gonna switch out. Okay. Let's keep this. I need the, all of these later for later on. Okay, so now I have my thing on, so it won't be any problem. They won't, she won't die. So let's use her noble phantasm then. Hmm. All right, no problem. I have my thing. Like Castoria is like helping so much with the with that invincible thing that she has to use it. Okay. Now time to use uh Put a bait on her. But she's stunned. So, okay. Let's increase Castoria's. Wait, just a minute. One turn. Okay, so yeah, it won't work. Oh no, she has. Uh, oh no. Wait, what do we do here? No, 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 no. What the hell? You know what? My... Oh god. What actually happened? My recording button is on top, in, on the left. 
I, I did not see the gut properly. I would have used the... Oh god. What, what am I supposed to do here? What the hell? One left. Oh my god. You... Okay, there you go. That was a very bad mistake I was going to make by the end of it. I could have easily used Castori as a uh, noble phantasm to keep me alive, but alright, never mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, now that. Oh god. Now that was a good round of painting. Thanks for indulging me, Van Gogh. Master, I'm good now. And ha hand this spirit origin back to away, but I'm kind of stuck like this. Mind using your noble phantasm to nudge it back for her? To her for me? <laughs> not at all. This turn out. Ooh, okay, here we go. Sorry about that. I guess Toto-sama, no, both of us really made a whole heap of trouble for you guys, huh? Just between us, I don't mind at all. For me, this was fun. It was like a dream come true. <laughs> hmm. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. That sounds like a problem in its own right, but since no one was hurt, and it looks like it, this won't happen again, I think I'll follow Fujiwara's lead and let it slide. Uh, thanks for being so understanding, Captain. Hey, Hokusai, would you like to come by my room later? <laughs> I would still want to talk about art. Huh? Uh, go gosh, I, I don't know. Should I? Hey, Master, we got any other battles left to fight? We do. I think we better do that first. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, wait, so there's like one left or something? Hmm. Wait a minute, so... What are these? Oh, these are okay. Okay. Great. All right. Just like always, take Astoria and. Uh... Welcome to my otherworldly inner palace, my beloved emperor. I must say, I never expected you to defeat the other dancers and make your way straight to me so quickly. <laughs> you have made me so very happy. I fear the sheer bliss may drive me to delirium. Yeah, well... Lady Yang Guife. I don't think she ever sees me. She's just looking at Master through the camera. Sorry, Machan, but can you let me have a turn? I promise I'll be real quick. Yu Yu, it's me, Batty. Do you really not recognize me? Or were you only using the bare minimum of your madness enhancement mind to act like we were friends? Oh god, that's totally what it was, wasn't it? I'm such a baka, I should have known I could never be friends with a genuine princess like you. But as embarrassing it is to realize our whole Nakama thing was a sham, there's still one thing I know from spending all that time with you. The way you smiled whenever we ate leeches or when you were playing with the marines. I'm positive that was really you, you. So even if they might be a little broken, there's no way my Machan will let servant with redeeming qualities like that get away. And um, uh, of course, goes for me too. Okay, that's all I had to say. Get her, Machan. There's one way to hide your embarrassment, Batty. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Oh boy. After all, my beloved Emperor was sealed away in the far reaches of Formal House. No, oh, wait. Was he put to rest in the... Styling mausoleum? Huh? Ah, there you are. Oh my god, she is just... Damn, just when I thought we might have gotten through to her. Yeah. Oh, Emperor. My beloved Emperor. Please don't leave me again. All I want in this life is to stay by your side until the flame of my life goes out. Where's Wuzeta? What's that? I must be terribly cramped in this tiny body. Why, yes I am. That is why I created Hellfire from your favorite star while I awaited your arrival. Now I will use this frail vessel to kindle a flame on the seventh night of the whole seventh month, just like in the palace of internal life. 
or to be lovebirds in the sky, intertwined branches on the earth, to never again be separated from one another. I will become one with the Emperor. Now to make that dream come true, I shall become a living flame to consume this world and all other worlds beyond the stars. Oh boy. Imperial Edict, the Taoist nun of Bengali, Yang Taizen, declares, Uh oh, her noble fantasy is about to engulf the entire sea. Can you still fight Van Gogh? <laughs> of course. Lady Yang Guifei, you recognized me as one of your class. You said you didn't want to hurt me, that you even liked me. I can't imagine it was all an act, but even if it was, I still need to pay you back for your kindness. That's what it means to be human, right? And since neither me nor Nemo nor Master are your emperor, I'm going to show you what it's like to have your proposal met with Noish and Nemo. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I'm guessing Rosetta is going to come at the end. Okay, the final battle! Alright, let's go! Let's see the fact you can take care of me. I don't think I even needed to you. Oh, but I probably. Arts effectiveness, personal attack. Yeah, I don't think I even needed this uh, the arts advancement at all. Because. Yeah, I should have kept it for later on because the invincible that it provides is quite helpful. That takes care of that, and now time to bring in Van Gogh. Okay, let's take care of these first. Oh no, what did I do? Oh god. Oh, I should have chosen the other one. Never mind. That was a bad mistake I did. Wait! Damn, Musashi, even with the... She was able to defeat her... Oh, that was the first bar, still. Oh my god, yeah, she can charm. <laughs> Time to stun her. All right, let's. <laughs> Let's put that on as well. All the protection I can give. That took out all the debuffs as well. Okay, no problem. I have my. Yeah, 
No, wait, uh, let's do this. Because I did that because uh, the debuff will be gone after this, so I won't have any burn. Yeah, the wind will be up. There you go. The burn is gone. Oh, bro, not the invincible. Oh. oh, she's stunned. That's nice. But still, I'm going to use the. Great. Now, when she used the Invincible, now I have all the, like, I was not getting Vanguard. The RNG in this game is sometimes really screws you over. Like, look at this now. Like, what the, what the hell will I, will I do with all of this? <sighs> Great. Great. <laughs> Alright, now... Oh... I, I've almost maxed out these two, so uh, yeah. Great, like, you see this now? I have only one. But I'm going to make this one count. ほしを得ます。ここに<笑> Vanguard made this battle so easy. I feel like that 
If she was, I didn't get her, I would have struggled so much with this one. I'm pretty sure I would have. Oh boy. <sighs> solid servant. Vanguard is a solid servant. I can, I can understand now. Ah. Ah, why? Why, why, why? Tell me, Emperor. Tell me, tell me. Why do you refuse my flame? Because I'm not your Emperor. <laughs> Yes, here it comes. D. Sternhardt. And there you go. Hopefully she's back now. Now, Grandma's going to come. <laughs> oh no, I was afraid of this. Oh, what? What's wrong, Bangkok? Now I know why something felt off when I used my noble phantasm on Lady Yang Guife before. I just ran a deep scan on her foreign spirit origin and almost 90% of her capacity is occupied by the evil ghost terminal. Oh god, 90%. Yes, so if you try to tear the two apart, her spirit origin won't survive. According to my database in life, young Yu Yuhan had no inclination for madness that would make her an attractive target for an outer universe divinity. However, we cannot ignore the fact that it also says her body went missing after that. Oh, as this took place in the past, I cannot use my prognosticative abilities to stay, for, to stay for certain, but to speculate on what may have happened. I would guess that an outer universe faction caught wind of her keen mind and devote love for her emperor and used her body as the base upon which to build the heroic spirit we see now. My god. As a result, most of her spirit origin is flooded with reverence from the outer universe despite having no connection to it in her lifetime. It is truly a tragedy. All Young ever wanted was to make Pai Jui's poem a reality. So this evil, these evil gods have been using her, toying with her for her own twisted ends. That's just like what they did to me. Lady Yang Guifei. Why? Why do you look so sad, my beloved Emperor? All I want is to serve you faithfully. Ah, uh, it seems my spirit origin has made it sense. I'm pretty sure Wu Zetin is going to come because otherwise why would they introduce her? Does this mean you no longer have any need for me? <laughs> as much as it pains me, if you wish for me to disappear, then so be it. Ah, no, don't! Oh my god. Huh? Lightning deployment team here. Did you read me? Do you need me, Vanguard? With some help from Nemo Nurse, we created a torpedo loaded with the liberation spell. Ah, similar to what we did in our final battle against you. I just fired it. Oh, I'm also told it includes a binding spell. Young Guife should no longer be able to move. Okay. Uh, what is this? It's a stun. So she's trying to fight back. The impudence. What are the rest of you waiting for? Off you go. Hurry along. Oh, shut up. We're here now, aren't we? Alright, you two, get going. I ho, Vanguard. I have come too. Get, get, get. Grant, wait. What about your swimsuit, Lady Wuzetia? Hmm. I commanded Kaskadi to hurry and fashion me an appropriate outfit, but she said she did not have the time. <laughs> Is that why she gets one <laughs> in the future? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, in the, in the in the recent one. So instead, I had to slap one of those void chip what sits directly onto my spirit origin. It worked, but my spirit form is all messed up, so I am in no shape to aid in battle. Th that sounds so un I, I mean painful. What did you go why do you go to such lanes, Lady Wu? Lady Wu, how uncouth. You may address me either as your Imperial Highness or Night Bride. As for why I went to such lengths, well it's, it's only right that I stuff up a fire that came from my country, no? At any rate, you there, young Yu Yuhan. You may do so while knocking your knees together if you wish, but you will listen to me. I am Wu Zetian, also known as Holy Empress Zetian, and I am your grandmother-in-law. Do not ever think of claiming you haven't heard of me. She's like, what? I must say, it is quite an odd twist of fate that we should meet in a strange and foreign land like this, a thousand years after her death. But never mind that now. Suffice to say, I know all about how Zhou Dynasty was rolled back in favor of Tan, only for the entire nation to be thrown into chaos because he chose you for his consort, you temptress. Oh yes, I have quite the bone to pick with both of you and your beloved emperor. Perhaps I'll make you pay for your crimes with one of my wine barrel executions. Eh. Well, at least she's responding. <laughs> um, Lady Nightbride, maybe threatening her isn't the best way to get him. Lady Nightbride? That doesn't sound right either. Eh, no matter. Van York, was it? Lend me your noble phantasm for a moment. Huh? Is that even possible? God is here. Ordinarily, it would not be. But thanks to the back door in the void ship, we can indeed link you and your Wuzetian spirit origins now. But, but we just met. That sounds so intimate. 
What, what in the world are you talking about? This will be a purely tactical collaboration, nothing more. The uh, one connecting to a foreign spirit or is driving you mad? This is where the electric girl comes in. Trust me, I've thought of everything. I'm a monster. I can handle fear and madness. Ah, uh, there you have it. We now will connect both of you in tandem with Fran acting as an intermediary. Now hurry up before the binding spells fades. But um, are you going to do something mean to her? Enough! I wanted to, believe me, but Master was dead set against it. Why not? Load the wine and to intact it. enact it. I do have a peaceful plan in mind. C -c -c got it. Connecting. Yeah, what happened to the Spirit Horizon? I knew this would be difficult, but this is far more painful than I uh, expected. And Lai, can you stabilize the connection speed? Well, well, no matter. I suppose this will suffice. Alright, here goes. Jing, okay. Ah. Disconnecting. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> Nailed it, first time. Just another example of how amazing I truly am. Alright, Bangkok, you can take her to, to, into custody. Ah, L Lady Yang Guife. Is she asleep? What, what did you do to her? No, oh, nothing really. I merely outfitted her with Origins primary spirit tones with horrifically strict and complicated operating restrictions. Ah, that's what she did. If destroying her is not an option, we need to merely bind her with rules, just the sort of solution you would expect. From me, no master? Way to go, knight, right? Okay, 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 stop before you make me blush. Now as for what this young Yuhan girl will be like going forward, her essence will remain unchanged underneath her innocent exterior. She will continue to think of nothing but her beloved emperor. No doubt she will still wish to marry said emperor, but why not? One of the restrictions I placed on her requires her to go to a point where she is ready for marriage. <laughs> okay, she may not be as diligent as me, but she is enough of a hard worker that she should soon learn how to control herself in order to achieve that growth. And if Master you were to take advantage of this opportunity to help her truly grow as a person, so that she becomes a person she merely behaves like, perhaps in time you will even be able to completely remove her terminal connecting her to this outer universe. Okay, okay. So basically level her up. Alright. <laughs> so it suggests you... <laughs> Think her as a newborn babe, even more so than the three stars of Kalja's prized lava swimming team, and raise her accordingly with warmth and compassion. Of course, infants require education. If you like, I would be willing to personally teach her how to be a proper lady. <laughs> but I think I'll pass. <laughs> no need to be so modest, though I must say, I never would have let her off the hook so easily before. It seems being a servant has mellowed me even me out. Thank you, Lady Nightbride. No need to thank me. All I ask in return is that you teach me the ways of Western painting. What a grand opportunity to further enhance my artistic prowess. Y yes, of course. <laughs> me teaching an empress how to paint. It's like a dream job. That takes care of that. I'm tired. I'm gonna go be lazy. Alright, so there you go. So after this, I'm guessing the epilogue, the last one that is left. And there you go. That takes care of Lady Young Guife and uh, all right, it's here. All right, there you go. Five out of five. I have to say these battles were a little bit difficult, especially with not with with the with, with if you if you don't have Van Gogh or a particular few servants, it would be quite difficult. I, I was kind of lucky that I had both Musashi, Castoria, and Van Gogh. Thank you all once again, you've done phenomenal work. This is really the end now. No further objections or straight strange secret plots, right? Hopefully. Phew, okay, that sounds like a no. I think we're in the clear then. Would you do the honors, Van Gogh? <laughs> of course. Once again, with the Holy Grail in my hand, I'll restore this space to its pre-tampered with state and Yeah, <laughs> the Nautilus can emerge now. Great, okay, everyone, do your positions. Crew, get ready, things are about to get hectic. Zero sail, disengage, all hands prepared to emerge. Full speed ahead. Activating Paper Moon, initiating Platin Planet Navigational Chart Plus Minus Convergence, commencing Nautilus's docking sequence into Reality Boundary. Firing Existence Verification Tethered into Reality Space, setting Anchor Point to... Where else? Novum Caldia. At last, we'll finally get to go home, Senpai, and without losing a single member of our team. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm so relieved. I think I'm starting to feel kind of sleepy. Me too. Okay, so here we go. End of the dream. Ah. And we're back. There you have it. This whole voyage was a dream. But that doesn't mean it was just a dream or that nothing ever happened here mattered. Since it but was a deal dream, it's my its position in time may have been wonky and its relation to casualty inconsistent. It's also a mystery as to how this dream will come true, if it will come true, if it already has come true, or if any changes it might have brought about can even be observed. And even so, the things you gained in this dream are sure to be of help in reality. How do I know? Because I am here. Because you, Nemo, and everyone else saved me. Oh, this is Van Gogh. Okay. Now I'm going to keep you all safe from the reverse side of the world. So please don't ever think of your voyage was pointless. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit too bold for me to say. Now, it's time to emerge. May your awakening be as pleasant as it is comfortable. And if our paths ever should cross again one day, it will be the unknownable sea within a rainbow dream. Within a rainbow dream. <laughs> Alright, one last handshake to send you all on your way. Huh? My tentacle's stuck. I can't get loose. <laughs> Ah, no! Oh! Four, four, four. Something's really got four worked up. Oh! That was a hell of a dream even for me. I have to make sure to remember what hap what it was about. Okay, so we need Sinsu, <laughs> Torpedo, the method of transportation. <laughs> Yeah, I wrote it all down. Oh! I wonder what Fo's trying to tell me. Oh, someone, okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Master. I am. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of messed up. I guess this might change the prophetic dream completely now, huh? Oh well. <laughs> Master, welcome to Kaldia, Flighty Van Gogh. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm actually sleepy too. Good night, sweet dreams, Master. And there you go, that is the end. I think so, I think that's the end. Wait, what? There's still something left. Alright. Oh, we, we have to get the Holy Grail. Yeah, we didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Why is she here? Oh no. Where, where am I? I've seen, never seen anything so tacky. For that matter, what, what have I been doing? I remember interrupting the summoning ritual just like my beloved emperor told me to. I met everyone from Kaldia, saved Gorgi, got saved by Gorgi, became besties with Patty. I kept pretending to get along with everyone but over time I actually started to enjoy myself and I feel bad about that. Oh right, I almost forgot, emperor gave me an order. This was supposed to be the time I finally fulfilled our promise for the seventh day of the seventh month. And that's quite enough of that, is this BB, yep. Nice to meet you, young Yuhan, and welcome to your new personal hell. This is the other side of the nth barrier where casualty, common sense and continuity have all been thrown out the window. So come on in and make yourself uncomfy in the moon demon's punishment room run by yours truly, everyone's favorite evil final boss Kohai. Uh, what, what's going on here? I don't think I've ever been more confused or reformed in my life. Um, is this our first time meeting right? Of course, it better be since I resisted going on this little business trip so I have a solid alibi. Would you like to know what it is you're feeling right now? It's aversion to people who remind you of you. We're both chaotic good friendly to a fault and belong to an extra class. And if that wasn't enough, you're both the kind of thoroughly rotten type to end up as a final bosses, which I guess true of any lovely young lady. Anyway, we're competing for the exact same position. Oh my god. There's no way a Kohai heroine like me and a childhood friend like one like you could ever get along. <laughs> uh. Come on, that's not fair at all. 
In general, I'm all about being philanthropic and agreeable, you know. But only as long as your precious emperor permits it, right? Even I can't help but be a pal to a moral goat full of holes so big you could drive a truck through them. But whatever, it's fine. By the way, young Grife, how's your mind right now? Thinking relatively clearly, I guess, I'm guessing? Now that you mention it, I think I am. Why? Did you do something to me? I sure did. Honestly, it's a wonder your spirit origin held together at all thanks to how thoroughly the outer universe had its hooks on you. So I took all of them out, only left your public persona behind. Ah, I do love me some good old fashioned moon holy whale cheat power. <laughs> you did what? How could you? What about my link to my beloved emperor? Hmm, sadly my Kaldia's senpai's sensibilities preclude any hope of fixing your creepiness through surgical means. Oh, but don't worry, I'll still make sure to fix you back up properly later. This is special temporary treatment, just a little preemptive measure to pave the way for my real punishment. You keep mentioning punishment, but I don't recall doing anything to deserve it. Oh boy. Oh, playing dumb now, are we? Sorry, no dice. I know you're clear-headed enough to know exactly what I'm talking about right now. What you tried to do was crime against all of humanity and proper human history. That's right. What you attempted in the name of your precious emperor was staggeringly evil. <laughs> and now, it's time for your punishment. A comprehensive review of your failed scheme. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. It's what every criminal mastermind <laughs> fears more than anything. We're going to go over every last one of your failures in excruciating detail. Wow. No, no, anything but that. I'll die of sheer embarrassment and regret. Grand Ganba, Zetian just torture me instead? Hmm, while you have absolutely no right to refuse, this is still a family show, so I think I'll just subject you to tickle torture until you give in. Oh, uh, stop, I I'll talk. Oh god. First off, my foreign spirit origin was inscribed with a few directives, I guess. I had to be completely in tune with my god. Oh, okay. And I had to be st I had to store up eldritch power in a way that wouldn't arouse suspicion. Once I had enough eldritch power, I'll be able to turn the tables in that god's favor. From there, I was supposed to destroy or steal or do whatever I had to in order to turn the most important thing in my summoning session into experience points. Those would eventually enable the god to go stronger using me as a conduit until they reached a point where they could break into the seal, break their seal and make their comeback. Okay, that's a very very abridged version. The divinity of the emperor I serve is basically all about burning and killing everything in sight. Ah, but I couldn't really do that right after I was summoned since I was still super weak. Luckily, the god I was filling in for this time was a surprisingly intelligent, cold and calculating type. So thanks to that, I was able to excuse myself to my dear emperor for choosing to take a more discreet approach this time. Now I see, and your next step was to ingratiate yourself with senpai, huh? That's right, I can actually resist command spells to some degrees, as long as my emperor commands me to, wow. So I wasn't especially worried about those. However, the situation turned out to be much more difficult than I expected. Starting with the stupid wild octopus I couldn't have been stuck with. I couldn't have been stuck with more incompetent allies. I could tell right away that it was Gorgi who called me, so I couldn't help but wish she had done a better job. <laughs> but I guess I can't be too hard on her since she, her plans got thrown out of whack when one of the alliance calls she was expecting just didn't show up. Anyway, when I arrived, the situation basically looked like this. Van Gogh the favorite had failed to get the two factions to work together so the outer god decided to go with their backup plan and have their bloom into her bloom into a flower of pure madness okay a rival hoax side just wanted to paint all day and cap her around doing whatever she pleased i guess the idea was if she painted enough she'd eventually get to the final manifestation okay and then there was me the dark horse who snuck in amidst all the chaos how was i supposed to win the race with the odds so stacked against me but anyway as much as the odds were stacked against me it was still Secretly a three-way race. Alright, okay, I can I kind of understand. But that's not all. Regardless of who ended up winning, I couldn't afford to sink the Nautilus until it was all over. It was the only place Gorgi and I could store Eldrick power, so I had to, it had to survive at least that long. Even Lady Hoaxite couldn't operate in void space on her own, at least at first. Oh, incidentally, it looks like she stretched her tentacles all over of the void space and painted picture, even as she was destroying logic and reason left and right. Talk about a mad artist. Wow, they even gave, gave the explanation as to if she couldn't go there, then how was she painting? 
at any rate, the way things were going then, it looked like we were headed to just one big mess where nobody wins. So I decided to do something to get the Nautilus back on the right track. Hmm. Hmm, why did you do that? Couldn't you have just acted like the evil god stand in you were and formed an alliance with Hokusai? Yeah. No, I couldn't. For whatever reason, Gog's arbitration abilities only worked on gods from existing alliance. Oh. And since collecting Elric powers is a zero-sum game, nothing good would have come from multiple factions vying for it. Okay. Trust me, one mastermind feasting on madness in the dread of night as they present a peaceful facade during the day is more than enough. Okay. Of course, had our divinities been part of the same alliance, the two factions could have worked together to build up Eldric powers. But that's just rarer than rare, like a dream team. If he could have pulled that off, the whole ordeal would have probably been over in an instant. I see, I see. Well, it's cert well I can certainly sympathize with the desire to be the only heroine, to be villain in a given story. Anyway, that's why you, Van Gogh and Hope, sorry, each had separate schemes, huh? <laughs> I don't know if I'd call a scheme per se. While the best way to build up Eldritch power is through phenomena that inspired terror and primal disgust, the only pure human on Nautilus was Master. Everyone was a reputable heroic spirit, right? But unfortunately, there was basically nothing I could do to drive them mad. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The Berserker's madness was practically nothing and Gog was raking up her own madness like crazy. And of course, all the servants were guarding Master who could normally have been bear my best bet very closely. Then just when things were looking hopeless, I noticed the Nemo Marines. Ah, that's what she did. He used the dolls. They were phantom spirits, not heroic ones, and even better, they were basically one person spread across 12 bodies. That made them best the best hope I had to spreading rumors about the Nautil Nautilus. I gave them cursed objects and called them protective charms, and over time I cultivated madness in them based on pity and good intentions. Surprisingly, it went pretty much the way I hoped. Eventually, they began to be spreading a new kind of madness around the ship, one quite different in nature from both Lady Hoxai's and Van and Gorky's. Meanwhile, the Nautilus had regained its ability to fight, and Gorky's setting points was just starting to come into sight too. Settling point. As far as I could tell from peeking in, Van Gogh seemed pretty damn dangerous right up to the end. Hmm, well, I could already see the light at the end of the tunnel once Master and the Captain began to show a genuine affection for her. Ah, gotcha, that's a pretty meta way of looking at things, but definitely an important one. So, with all that in mind, how could I go about stealing Gog's Eldritch power? Well, as the dark horse of the story, it only made sense for me to swoop in at the end and make off with everything. You know, that does make sense. Personally, I don't have any problem with those kind of devious underhanded moves. Wow, they're talking about <laughs> how villainous. <laughs> oh god. They were, okay. That was when I realized something else. Well, what was it? Could it be that my master is actually my beloved emperor? Oh my god. Okay, back up. It sounded like you were going about your scheme so methodically up till that point. Why did you go crazy all of a sudden? Master had formed contracts with so many powerful and tem temperamental hero experience and he doesn't bat an eye even with the most crushing pressure. This is just what Da Vinci said, you know. Like, she was like, ah, it'll be okay. Like, you know, Fujimaru's charms are there, you know. His innate skill, that's going to take care of everything. So... <laughs> And then there's his incredible generosity, which is kind of like, no, exactly like my beloved emperor, yes. Now I get it, this must be the heart of why you're a foreigner. The more Eldric power you store up, the more you become unable to tell who your own god really is. <laughs> Don't talk me about me like I'm some kind of floozy. I'm nothing if not loving and loyal. Hey, don't worry, there's lots of berserkers in Kalte who say the same thing. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get along great. Yeah, especially, you know, that, that one... <laughs> So, once you went off the deep end, what did you do next? Once I stole the Holy Grail, I should have just converted all of his magical energy into experience points and used them to transform into the living flame. But I wanted to make my beloved Emperor happy so much that I um, ended up putting on a grand foreigner festival. <laughs> hmm, I kind of hate that I know exactly the feeling you're talking about. Anyway, you thought your festival would make your Emperor happy only for it to have the opposite effect. And in the end, your defeat was sealed when your square grandma in law gave you the verbal thrashing of your life, huh? <sighs> you know, thinking about it now, wouldn't getting to serve my beloved Emperor in Kaldia be my greatest wish coming true? Ah, great, she's off on her old world again now. Alright, putting the meme worthy stuff aside. Okay, I see how it is now. 
You and I might be birds of a feather, but our plumage couldn't be more different. You're chaotic good because one evil act spoils everything good on you too. But I'm chaotic good because I'm always pretending to be evil while managing one good deed in the most stylish way possible. That is so true. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Love drives me to make my schemes succeed and causes you to make yours fail. <laughs> the completely opposite. Honestly, there's so much your stains stance on the stuff I hate that I sooner wipe my memories than risk learning from it. On the other hand, the way your foreigners went about realizing your schemes was very educational. As an AI, I tend to want to use my advanced intelligence to send players spiraling into chaos all at once, but as an evil god, I see now that a little nudge on one's mental weaknesses is better. And that kind of advantage, taking, and that taking advantage of good intentional madness is a totally viable. Of course, you don't want to go so far with that, uh, with it that you veer into Sishoin <laughs> territory, yeah. But it would work as long as you don't make it about your personal desire. Then there's a swoop in the end and take it all for yourself initiative that way you handled phantom spirits. Hmm, that's all coming together now. I'll have to remember all this the next time I put a swimsuit, wow. You know, it's strange, once you said the word swimsuit, I went from hating you for reminding me of my failures to outright wanting to murder you. <laughs> huh? Does it mean you're my sworn enemy? Should I be burning you alive right now? Oopsies, I've said too much. Oh well, I think we're about done here. Now, let's see about getting you back to Caldea, shall we? Gosh, thinking back on this, I really screwed up things, didn't I? Oh ho, what is this? Your good-natured heart only now feeling the way of your sins? Well, don't you worry, once your spirit origin is back to its normal state, you'll be maniacally bestowed with your precious emperor again that you'll forget your guilt completely. Naturally, you'll forget everything that happened here at your studio and almost your void sea memories will be sealed away too. From your perspective, you'll be all set to start a brand new life at Kalia under the impression that your precious emperor ordered you to go there. Enjoy. Now I feel like crying. I feel terrible for how I treated Master Batty Gorby. They all treated me like a friend, even though this personality is just a facade. But now when I go back to Kalia, I'll be so preoccupied with my beloved Emperor of the Distant Stars that I won't even notice them. That's terrible. I'm pretty sure they'll approach you on, your, on their own. Huh? C cut that out. This is no fun at all if you don't at, all, at least fight it, come on. So you feel bad about being mean to people you feel sorry for. I guess you really are good at heart, just like me. Huh? Yeah, I think I've decided. I actually like you. We should be besties, dude. Oh, great. Well, no way. You said it yourself. The best villains are solo acts. I never thought of myself as a villain. <laughs> and with Lady Wu's and restrictions stopping me from going berserk and my natural diligence, maybe I can even get stronger if I work at it. In fact, maybe I can go strong enough to save humanity or proper human history one day. Even with this facade of a personality. Oh, I just got a great idea, BB. What if we both air all our dirty laundry and give it to the good side together? No freaking way. Why would you even think that was a good idea? Hey, don't knock the aesthetics of destruction until you've tried them. They definitely don't leave you feeling bummed out like you do after cheating and brute forcing your way into perfect victory. Shut up, you don't know the first thing about me. <laughs> yeah, so this is unbridled self esteem and oratory skills that earned you your nationwide fame and fatality reputation. Maybe I started a little, stared a little too long into the abyss. But unfortunately that route you just suggested will never be made official. So no, you're going to start over at Kalde as a crazy foreigner and build your good karma back up. Of course, I don't know what's going to happen when you try and I couldn't possibly care less. Good luck. Oh, it's so cute how you pretend to be evil when you get flustered. Thanks, BB, I've learned a lot from you. <laughs> ah, quit it, you're creeping me out. Don't look at me like that. That's all for today. BB Channel signing out. See you later, BB. Hmm. All right, we're going to get the whole big rail here. And I think that is actually the end. Yeah. Wow. All right. So there you go. That is the end of the story. And uh, yeah, the final battles were really you know, challenging, I have to say. Uh, if I didn't have the particular servants that I used, I would have been screwed. So yeah, thanks Van Gogh, thanks Musashi, and thanks Castoria. <laughs> so there you go. So that is it, guys. Um, and this was a great event. I loved it, you know, especially getting introduced to Van Gogh, knowing more about these outer gods, and, you know, the factions and everything. Like, I, I really had no idea about any of this. Like, you know, like, I, I do remember them kind of 
kind of telling stuff, but not into this detail. They never, they never went into this detail as far as I can remember. So yeah. So there you go. So thank you for watching. And uh, uh, now, okay. There's still a few sections left. I'll probably do this with a little time I have left. And I'm, I'm going to do this on my own as well. This section, these ones. I don't know what these are. Oh, resources. All right. So yeah. So there you go. So thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, comment down below. Anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. And that is it. So there you go. So the next one, the next big thing that is coming up in FGO is obviously Hey Uncle. We already have the pre, what is, what, what is it called? The pre campaign thing that they usually do. Uh, we already have that ongoing. So Hey Uncle is going to come out, I'm pretty sure, probably in the end ending section of november so i'm going to do that and obviously i can record my gameplay and everything i'm really excited for that because um i think like uh it's it's, it's obviously it's, it's being based on japan so the whole like you know like uh like uh, what's her name raiko uh shuten ibuki all of them will be there uh, kintoki so yeah i'm, I'm I, I really love those like you know like those onigashima like you know that those type of stories like you know the whole minamoto clan and the taida clan all those things i'm guessing we're going to get to know more of them we'll get to go, get to know more of asia as well and obviously some new characters is going to come ibuki and asia in the summoning pool uh i had plans previous plans of trying to get ibuki but i have actually i'm not going to do that because i need to save you know and uh, I'll, I'll try it in the GSSR. Probably I won't get her, but it's fine, I guess. Like, you, you can't get every servant in this game as an F2P. That'll be outrageous. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to deal with it. But either way, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next FGO video that I make. So, yeah, see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.